better if that we get this opportunity to ask you some questions. And for the first time, I've uh, seen you, and I'm glad that I can ask you a simple question. I am a businessman, and one of my, or rather my only hobby, is uh, studying religions. So one of them, obviously, being the Quran. So m my question is fairly simple. Like, um, I really liked what you spoke about Aisha. That was a very uh, wonderful thing that you said. So m um, my question is fairly simple. I'll make it very small. But I really hope that I have the opportunity to cross-question you after you answer me on your answer. Thank you. So uh, we see in Muslim, uh, book number four, number 2127, wherein it says, a part of it, that is, uh, he stuck me, Aisha, on the chest, which caused me pain. Uh, further down, if you look at uh, Miskat al-Masabi, uh, volume 2, page number 690, repeated again in Muslim, book number 9, number 3506, a part of it, I'll just get to the point, wherein Umar is trying to say to the Prophet, or trying, rather trying to make him laugh, he says, Messenger of God, I wish you had seen the daughter of Kharija, where she asked me for extra money, and I got up and slapped her on the neck. God's Messenger laughed and said, they are around me, as you see, Asking for extra money, Abu Bakr then got up, went to Aisha and slapped her on the neck, and Umar did the same to Hafsa. Now we see something of a pattern coming in. Then uh, if you just jump to Quran chapter 4, verse 34, and those wives you fear may be rebellious, admonish, banish them to their couches and beat them. Now, as I understand from your talk, and that there is equal punishment for both man and woman, I'm not contending whether they should be beaten or not. My point is, uh, what is the right of the woman if the man is wrong? Because he gets to beat her up. Well, that's a very good question. And I give you the right to cross-question me after the answer. It is granted. The brother quoted Hadith of Sahih Muslim and Mishkat Masabi. Do you know the relationship between Hafsa and Hazrat Umar? Well, I've not really got to the point that much. I'm st still starting. Do you know the relationship of Aisha and Abu Bakr? May Allah be with them both. Her father, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. I'm asking you a question. Are you married? Yes. Yes. Do you have a daughter? Two of them. Two of them, fine. I get if, to go to heaven. Sorry? I get to go to heaven. No. <laughs> if you bring them up correctly, I remember with that. love I remember and that. compassion, then you'll go to heaven, otherwise not. <laughs> but, just kidding, just but kidding. But that is only righteous deed. Without demand, you can't enter Jannah. So for you to go to heaven, besides upbringing your two daughters correctly, you have to follow the laws of the Quran and the Sahih Hadith and be a believer. I understand. That we'll discuss after answer to you. I understand. After answer, inshallah. I'm asking you a simple question. Suppose a daughter, if she wants to jump from a 10-story building, what will you do? I'll stop her. Huh? Is she adamant? What will you do? Point, yeah. So you get the point. Very good. If she so, wants to jump, no, I want to go. I want to fly like Superman. Dad, you are preventing me from being a Superman. What will you do? Well, I'll, uh, I'll stop her, obviously. Will you slap her or not? If, if, if required. She says, no, I want to jump. What will you do? Well, I, I can ask the other way around. What I'm if asking, my wife brother. Sees? I'm asking. If she wants to jump from the 10-story. I will hit her. If required. Not normally. You'll say, are baby, you na Superman. Mat bano. Nahin, banne ka, abba. <laughs> jump marne ka hai. I want to fly. One slap. A father is cruel to be kind. Yes. Now, our beloved Prophet said, anyone who does not love Allah and his messenger more than his own life, he is not a Muslim. Anyone who does not love Allah and his messenger more than his own life, he is not a Muslim. So there are many occasions what happened that sometimes they were disrespectful to the husband. Not a normal husband, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There were many occasions, not one occasion. There are many occasions, Hazrat Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, and Hazrat Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him. When they came to know that one of the wives has caused pain to the Prophet, they were the father-in-law of the Prophet. But they love the Prophet not only more than their daughter, they love the Prophet more than their own life. There are many occasions. Which occasion you are referring to, I don't know. There were occasions when they came to know that my daughter has caused pain to the Prophet of Allah. How dare she does it? They being father, they have the right to slap. Not you and me. For us, they are the Ummu Atul Mu'mineen. They are the mothers of the believers. But yet, they were human beings. Even the wives of the Prophet. Though they were wives of the Prophet, they are the best examples. Yet, they were human beings. And they did make mistakes. Like the ayah recited by the Qari. Surah Nisa chapter 4, Sahidu. They want equal rights. They were in Surah Azab chapter 33, where the wives of the Prophet tell the Prophet, why don't you give us the luxury of this world? They objected. Why are we undergoing such a life of poverty? So Allah sends a revelation. If you want this world, I will grant it to you, but you will not get Jannah. The verse of the Quran says, I will free you. That means, if you want, I will let you go free. Divorce, not that he divorced. And you can get the luxury of this world, but you won't get heaven in the hereafter. And the wives of the Prophet repented, and they asked for forgiveness, and Allah forgave them. So here also it's in context. And going against the Prophet is more bad than jumping from top. 
Jumping from top, your daughter will kill herself. That's it. Correct? But going again, the profit is more bad. Did you get the answer? Uh, sir, but my question still stands. I understood your point. I haven't completed my answer. Okay, you ask the question. No problem. My, my question is uh, pretty simple. I haven't completed my answer yet, brother. All right. Because I know your question was in two parts. Then you quoted the verse of the Quran, Surah Nisa, chapter 4, 34. Yeah. And said about wife beating. I want to complete that before you answer. Otherwise, you said Zakir answered half. I only answered one part of your question regarding Hadith. The second part is of Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 34. Exactly after the verse that was recited by the Qari. After verse which says that the men are the protectors of the women. The verse says that if they are disobedient, if they are disobedient, then don't talk to her. After that, don't share the bed. Then the Arabic word is daraba means beat her lightly. The Arabic word is beat her lightly daraba. Abbas, may Allah be peace with him, said when you beat your wife, you should not beat on the face. Point number one. Point number two, when you beat your wife, there should be no mark left on her body. And he gave an example, beating with a miswak. Miswak is toothbrush. In modern way, I will say beating with a handkerchief. Handkerchief. Now, if you beat your wife with a handkerchief, it is symbolic. It is not wife bashing. Wife bashing is not allowed in Islam. Wife bashing means one shot on the face. Hit so hard so that the mark remains. She'll remember you for the next one week or two weeks. In Islam, wife bashing is prohibited. It is daraba means beat her lightly. That means first you tell her she's wrong. You admonish her. Don't share the bed with her. Ultimatum. Last warning. Beat her lightly. Now, what I said, for any crime committed, the punishment is same. Punishment is same. Beating lightly is not a punishment, it's a warning. Can you do the opposite? Can the daughter hit the father? What if your daughter slaps you? Will you like it? No. Why? Equality. Let me come in answer. You talk about equality, if your daughter slaps you, will you like it? No. No. There may be occasion when you get lunatic, when you become very old, and if you want to jump and then she slaps you, I will agree with her, correct? Though you said, no, I'm agreeing you. I understand. I'm helping you. You understand, but you don't understand me. Uh, no, I don't. I'm helping you. Okay. If you grow up and you become a lunatic, you become senile, you want to jump from the 10th story, your daughter says, Abba, mat karo, don't do father. She may have to slap you. She's doing it in good faith. Accept it. Right? Now here, where a husband is giving a warning to the wife, if the wife does the same, what will the retaliation be? Imagine, suppose a big, there's a massive person, bodybuilder comes, and acts mash with you. If a small man comes, maybe you'll hit him. A macho person, Anil Swashnikar, comes and tells you something. Will you hit him? Will you hit him? No. <laughs> ah, though you may have a lot of guts, but Anil Swashnikar, no. Why? Similarly, since Allah says in the previous verse, man has been given more strength than the woman. So, a physical warning, a symbolic warning, a man can give to a woman, a woman can't give to a man. A woman can't. There are other things. There are other things she can do. Such as? Such as, for example, if she has to cook food in the house, it's the duty of the husband to get market. She can refuse to cook. If you don't get market, I will not cook. She can object. Very well. She can object saying, I will not cook. It's an objection on her part. If, for example, he's not offering salah. Offering salah is important. She can object nicely with love and affection. My dear husband, please offer salah. Then she may get a little bit angry also, no problem. Getting angry with husband is not allowed. Unless it's for the sake of Allah and his Rasul. But not physical. She can't get physical. If she gets physical, there will be retaliation. It will never work. Imagine your wife slapping you. Will you leave her? Fine, you may say, Jando. So, what do you realize? This is a symbolic beating. What the Western media has done, they portray as though it is wife bashing. Where is wife bashing? You know the hadith also. So, because of that, Islam is the best way of life. It shows you how to lead life with your wives also. Hope that answers the question. If you have any counter question, you're most welcome, brother. Yes, actually, two points on that. Primarily, the first thing that you said is a daraba, uh, which means basically tapping. And as I understand from the Hans Word Dictionary, um, the, it comes from the word idrib. And now, if you